Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we are going to be progressing through Tier 9, through Eshlin, as it's called. Um, so far, um, I have a lot of new gear. I know I haven't posted in a while. I am sorry about that. To be honest, I was just being lazy, but I'm going to start posting again. Don't worry about it. The grind is back on. I was just really excited for Tier 18 and was kind of more focusing all my attention on my main account. So I'm sorry about that, but I am back. I'm going to try to be doing at least weekly uploads, maybe two times a week uh, on a good week. But for now, I'm going to try to stick to weekly uploads because it is going to take a lot longer to farm all of the materials I need, especially as a free to play. So right now, let me show you my gear. Sorry about that. We have three max legendaries tier nine and then three max epics tier nine. Not sure if this is in the last video or not, but I did cop a legendary mount, which actually is a little stronger than my other one. And it comes with 7.5 block chance, which is great. Another great thing about this is it comes with zero HP but unfortunately it does focus the rest of the stats into speed so we will see what's up with that um i might have to re-roll this later it is just a temporary mount again until we do get a mythic mount in the future so let's go ahead and get out of here and check out the first flag so we have a find and defeat the boss objective for 10 regulators let's go ahead and enter in now we can do the hilarious me hilarious sandwich um but I kind of want to have more damage, and I do have a bait, so I'm gonna put myself in the back as a bait, hopefully. Yes. Now we do have a new, a new familiar. He is a fusion, Omo. I talked about him in my last video. I'm pretty sure, maybe one of the past uh, few videos. But I got to uh, max him out recently, and right now I'm running Empower, Dual Strike, and Power on him, and he is gonna be a legend. I have my legendary brain on here, which is 50% chance to heal and shield team when you hit an enemy which is amazing so hopefully adding him is going to make this a lot easier so tank up front dps in the middle me in back or you in back of course we're going to try this out and see how we're doing now i'm going to manual now the cool thing about this dungeon is there's a lot of familiars from the previous um tier Okay, right now it seems like I can auto this. Let me go ahead and see another group. Okay, we have Tubbo here. All enemies furthest, okay. So it seems like I can auto this. If there's any new familiars, I'll go ahead and stop there and check them out. Okay, here we have Shrump. He does random and furthest. So again, it is just a mix of everything, but right now it seems like I'm getting lucky with nothing but furthest and closest. Random isn't too bad because, I mean, there's a one in three chance they're gonna hit their target, so it's still not too bad. I'm gonna just auto on through this, and if I do have any hiccups, I'll come back. If not, I'll see you at the loot recap screen. Awesome. It looks like we have more than enough TS for at least the first area. We're not having any hiccups. We fought a boss right away and it was uh, pretty easy, honestly. So right now we uh, just got some XPs. We're, everything we're gonna be getting is pretty useless because it's tier nine. So pretty much no matter what we get, it's not really that great unless we get a nice schematic that might be useful, which I doubt, or maybe some epics to scrap for some more material. So we got the 10 regulators. We are now proceeding to the next dungeon, the Winter Marsh Realm. Find and defeat the boss again. So we have another boss fight, and this is gonna give 10 brainstem, which is great. Brainstems are amazing. So we're gonna keep it the same. I'm gonna go ahead and just auto on through. All right, that went pretty good. Unfortunately, we were taking quite a bit of damage, but maybe that's because we were going against Gem. Uh, Gem seems to hit pretty hard. I think we're fine, but it looks like we might need a little more TS. Hopefully we don't have to split this into a two-parter. Right now, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Worst case scenario, we can just try manual and swap around our melees. So let's check this out, Lake Haven Realm. Find and defeat the boss. Okay, so this tells you pretty much what realm you're fighting on top. I just realized that. 
Okay, but pretty much it's the same thing all around. You just find and defeat the boss. That might be the same thing for every um, dungeon here by the looks of it. Okay. Keep the teams the same. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go on through this, and I'll see you at the loot recap screen. Alright, I don't know if you guys were seeing that, pretty much Arularius is almost always just around half HP, so it is getting a little scary for him. I'm going to go ahead and click on him so I can see what I have on him augment-wise. Let's go ahead and check him out real quick, see if we can find him here. There he is. Alright, so he's rocking a 32.5% chance to heal team when you get hit, which is pretty good. It's unfortunately it's just an epic brain, but I'm lucky to even be getting any epic or legendary brains as a free to play. It's crazy, I know. But let's go ahead and see. He has a while below 25% health and heals received are 40% more effective, pretty much affecting the brain and whatever Omo's brain is healing him as well. Now, if it says heal, it also means shields, so keep that in mind. So if you get a, a microchip that says heal power, it will affect shields as well. So the chip I have on him is a legendary, and it's gain damage reduction to higher health percentages up to a maximum of 9.5%. I like and I hate this one. I like it because you're tanky off the bat, but I hate it that the weaker you are, the weaker you get. So if you can have another one that's uh, better, something involving damage reduction, uh, damage reduction while shielded or damage reduction uh, per teammate alive or when you get weaker that would be way better than this one but this one's still pretty viable we're running deflect deflect and damage reduction as the three pumps we have on him i wish i can get another uh, deflect but it's been a little hard getting deflect pumps for me unfortunately i'm lucky enough to have even gotten two i've rolled quite a bit so he's uh pretty decent but if you are having problems and you have all damage reduction let's say you can always try all damage reduction pumps instead i know i can do damage reduction pumps on him but i'm going to be opting for the deflect All right, that was pretty easy. We pretty much kept good the whole round. It seems like um, our setup is pretty good. We are gonna be reaching the first portal, so it is another boss. The good thing is uh, we are going to be using our carries. So right now we are going to auto through until we get to the boss. Okay, I don't even know what happened there, but it seems like we just outed on through that. I didn't even realize uh, there was a boss there. All right, we were able to get to the first flag after that, which is great. Honestly, so far this tier has kind of been a walk in the park. I think you just got to get lucky with the bosses you get. They might be randomized for what it seems like. This first flag, it, it looks like pretty much the whole area is just find and defeat the boss. So we're just gonna go on through this and we're just gonna auto the whole thing. I'm more than certain we got this at this point. that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and revive him. I should have stopped that, but I didn't. Now I'm going to try to manual this. Do that. Random always hits the hardest. Remember that random always hits hardest. So this one is all enemies, so that's actually weak. I shouldn't have done that one. Uh, 2000 to 2700. This looks like a multi, yeah, so the best one would be the stab. It is smarter to pretty much just go in and manual the boss most of the time but i was feeling very confident and i went in and i lost the potion because of that which is unfortunate but it's all right 
nothing we can't get back later on. And as you can see, we are pretty much done with this area. So that was actually pretty um, hard compared to the last flags that we were doing. You gotta watch out. I only think there's two pairs, but I could be wrong. We have another fight to defeat the boss. Same team as always. All right, I'll auto on through unless I come across a boss that's giving me problems. I'll see you there. It seems like we're starting to have some trouble here. I didn't catch it again. I'm going to go ahead and revive. Unfortunate. Oh, looks like there's a bug where I'm invisible. Okay. So let's keep going at it. We're going to try to sustain as much as we can here. What does this guy do? Target closest, closest to weakest. So he's pretty much got the board covered. But I'm going to put him in the back for now. Okay. Damage we can. Oh, looks like we are getting a little messed up here, huh? All right, I'm gonna give him a potion. I don't know if we can beat this guy. Does he have drain? He does not have a drain. Okay, this is looking worrisome. We are probably gonna have to switch our weapon if we don't win this. But it seems like it's very close. We have to keep healing, that's for sure. We cannot stop healing. I'm pretty much relying on my character to do most of the damage from what it seems like. We might be able to get through this, actually. So this is pretty close, though. You don't want to do what I did. Um, if you're going to be going against Mogher, try to uh, manual him because he seems like he is uh, problematic. He's uh, not too bad, honestly. Wow, I don't know if you saw that heal, but that was insane. I pretty much healed to full. Honestly, Omo OP. I'm not even worried right now. I'm just gonna start damaging him. Hell yeah, okay. So, as you can see, it is getting tougher. But we are getting through this pretty easily. Now, I believe this might be the second to last flag that I was worried about. So, let's check it out. Uh, keeping the teams the same, I might have to swap Hilarious' pumps to damage reduction. Um, deflect is kind of scaring me right now, I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, I remember Winslow is a tank. Oh, God, it's the goose again. It came back. So this is why it's a problem, there's goose. All right, so you know the goose, you know what to do with the goose. It's a good thing we have a deflect here, so if the goose hit us, we hit them back with it. I'm gonna try to auto this dungeon before anything, but it might be a problem. I'm definitely gonna stop at the boss though. I will see you there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take over only because we are getting pretty low and I want to make sure we're sustained enough for this boss fight. So I'm going to be trying to... What is this very quick? Spread heal. I'm going to use my spread heal because I feel like it might be the smartest play here. Pretty worried. We need to take care of the goose. Pretty bad because they are the reason we are losing so much health. And it's terrible because they're paired with a Brimby. And you already remember, you guys remember how Brimby is. He is annoying. So we got rid of Brimby, which is good. We just need to heal off of him, that's good. All right, so we have the boss coming up. And the good thing is he is a tank boss, so it's not too bad. Uh, but again, he's a boss. And he has Brimby's. Uh, so I'm gonna try to take out Brimby as fast as possible. I'm gonna keep healing with Omo. 
and I'm going to keep draining with Hilarious as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to try to poke out the back one because again, they are the ones nuking us the whole time while he pretty much protects them. So the good thing is we got a very nice empowered crit on our heal. We were able to defeat the Brimby in the back. Let me show you Brimby real quick. He does furthest and target, so no matter what, he's pretty much getting what he wants right now. So let's go ahead and just keep draining up front. I'm going to try to do a random, perfect, and a target. Now I'm going to see if I can auto this guy, because he is again a tank. I don't think we'll have any problems with him. Ooh. Did he attack furthest? He does have attack furthest. That's unfortunate. There goes another revive potion. So I guess I will be manualing this after all. Uh, we should be able to do this as long as I keep an eye on the health pool of both my characters. I'm worried because he has an attack furthest, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna keep healing up. Target, closest, closest, closest. Drain, heal, target. Closest, target, drain, heal, right, target, heal, drain, closest, closest. It looks like we should be able to do this. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any problems here as long as, again, we keep manualing and keep aiming for sustain with everything we do. Uh, just rely on one guy to do the damage. It seems like we're remaining around the halfway point for Hilarious. There you go. So we popped him. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, we got some gems and some XPs. Great. It's always nice to see gems. And we got some stems. Perfect. Okay, so we, I, I believe this should be the last flag. So if we beat this flag, it's pretty much GG's and we're ready to move on to tier 10. That was actually not as hard as I actually thought it was going to be. So let me go ahead and show you one more time real quick. Three legendaries. I believe you're going to need the three legendaries and the three max epics because there were some times where I was almost dead. But again, uh, then again, I was autoing all of it. So you could probably get away with two legendaries and the rest max epics or a plus three legendary. I think a plus three legendary with two uh, max and uh, legendaries are pretty probably the things you're going to want to go for uh, because it'll be the least amount of resources and I know you can do it. Then again, you have to make sure your team is as stacked as mine. I do have a legendary brain and that legendary brain makes a huge difference. Um, I'd be dumb if I didn't use it though and I did get it as a free to play which is the best part about it. So we're going to go ahead and try to defeat the boss in the Galarin realm. Keep the teams the same. Now I'm going to auto on through, unless I have any problems. Oof. If you guys remember the last episode, you guys will know that these guys are problematic. So I am actually going to take over because this guy does weakest, and he's going to be hitting me, he's going to be hitting me a lot. He also has a heal target teammate. So let's go ahead and manual this. I'm going to save my SP because I can pretty much kill him in one hit there. Alright. So there's a heal shrine. Awesome. I'll remember that for the end, hopefully. It's over here. Okay. I'm trying to look for the boss. Let's go past this Marm. Marm is a tank fan, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. Pretty tanky, supporty. And this is a tank with damage. Okay, so the support tank and the damage tank, along with a Flurgy, if you remember, is a weakest. They're going to be nuking me the most. So I do have to rely on my evade. So I'm going to be trying to get Flurgy out of here see if I can hit it with random perfect let's go ahead and drain keep the sustain and it's just three I'll do that one Ooh, didn't quite get him I should have probably used target um I was being greedy there you just do it again there you go perfect so I'm going to use my one try to save SP I don't think we're low enough to where we have to use a heal yet I'm just gonna drain every time I get the drain option seems like we're fine it looks like we healed with just brain Fox. Another flurgy, huh? Oh, I seem to have found the boss as well. Was able to skip pretty much all of that dungeon. Now we do have a Candle Bros, and I'm hoping he does not have Candle Bros. So we're going to have to target Candle Bros. See if I can hit him with the random. Nice. I was able to hit him with random, but he's literally a sliver of health 
Um, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna do target because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, target hit random. Okay, unfortunate, but it does hit the hardest, so it is always worth doing that. Let's go ahead and do a target now. Let's try the random. Mm, let's try the random one more time. Perfect. We got some pretty good RNG. I'm gonna be spamming my one and healing. Spamming my one and healing. One. Drain, one, one, heal, one, one, and then here you're just going to want to save as much SP as possible. Now, I did forget, pretty much, that I do have a shrine, so I might go build SP just in case this guy is problematic. Um, I would want to build some SP, so I'm going to try to farm off this marm, the marm farm. So I'm going to target out the candle bros. Use random heal. We're going to be using SP right now just to take out the candle bros. We're going to have to. And we have to sustain. We have to make sure we're strong enough. Okay, perfect. Now I just need one more target. And then here you're just going to spam your one, no matter what it is, as long as your health doesn't drop. Because here I have a bunch of marms to farm off of and we have a health strat. So now we have a little more SP than we did before for our Omo and our Hilarious. And now we are at full health. Check out the boss. All right, tank fam. So the thing about this fam is they have a target and damage all, and they also have a spread heal teammates. So it is unfortunate that they do have a counter roast, but the good thing is, is they only have one. So we have to just focus farm him, and uh, we have to make sure that our deflex proc. So we do have our mount skill just in case we want to heal. I'm gonna do a target and a random. Ooh, that's a really good RNG right there drain to keep the sustain do a target and now we should honestly just be fine i could auto this but i am going to just manual drain target because it does the most i believe heal closest target let's do random awesome okay let's do target drain random target closest heal closest okay we're taking quite a bit of damage here i'm going to pop potions for all of my guys real quick since we're all halfway i'm going to use the average healing potion now here since i'm pretty full health i'm going to do closest target we want to get rid of the boss random unfortunate but we're fine we're fine okay closest and closest perfect we have an option for Gugamans, and we failed it. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and heal on up. I don't think we have to really do anything after this, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see what we got here now. Perfect. Uh, I'm going ahead and go to town. Uh, we're pretty good where we're at, so I'm going to go to town. Awesome. Always good to get some XP. Okay. Let's collect that. And there you go. We pretty much got through this like nothing. Here you're going to be pretty much getting a little bit of everything that you already got in this dungeon, which is pretty cool. I have my carries, you guys have your carries. Pretty much just out of this dungeon. Let's go ahead and get on through it. Uh, no fans that you haven't seen before, so I recommend just autoing it and just forgetting about it. I'll see y'all at the loot recap screen. All right, and as you can see, pretty easy. Honestly, just with your carries, just run on through it. Now, before I show you guys anything else, I'm going to go ahead and get the last star uh, dungeons all the way maxed out before I show you the trials. So there you go. New adventures await us in one more. It's, these words are pretty weird. I honestly don't understand how they come up with these names. All right, that's pretty awesome. Tier 10, that's exciting. So I'll be right back once I finish those dungeons and then I'll go ahead and show you all the loot and we'll run through the raid. Be right back. All right, I went ahead and finished up the star dungeons here. Um, we do have this other dungeon here, um, but you guys are not gonna be able to beat it uh, right away. You would have to have maxed out gear and all this crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, you do unlock pretty much 
uh, an ancient dungeon, which is what we call them. This is Gremlin. It is very hard. I don't recommend you waste your energy trying to attempt it. Um, maybe come back later on in the tier uh, if you're trying to progress the fastest at least. But if you do want to take things uh, pretty much finishing every tier at a time, that will take you a tremendous amount of time because that will require you to pretty much get maxed out sets, um, maxed out mounts, all of that crazy stuff. So just try to come back to it later i recommend if you are interested in ancient gear let's say you aren't a free to player or maybe you just want to main one ancient you know and keep that one ancient the whole way um this ancient i do uh like but again it's um i don't know it's not the greatest one let's go ahead and check out the drops now we have invasion you can see here you now have tier 10 tier 10 items drop here and yeah everything uh pretty much anytime you level up uh your invasion will follow you in tier even if you did start it in tier 9 uh you don't have to worry the moment you become tier 10 your loot will change to tier 10 for you so trials let's go ahead and check out trials let's go to the set one just to show y'all so we have two mythics again mythics kind of a waste of time uh, they're not really that worth it unless you are stuck and you don't want to commit to a set You can probably commit to one mythic if the mythic is honestly good enough to take with you But you really don't need it like you really can just get by with all legendaries Especially if you pay attention to the gear that you're getting and not just slapping on random stuff So this one is cool uh, maximum shields to 75% of total health nice if you're a tank maybe a bait um but the thing is, it's, again, really pricey to, up, to upgrade. Uh, this one is gain damage reduction while shielded. Again, it's not that necessary. Um, here's a set. I believe this is the Merciless set. This is one of my favorite sets of all time uh, because it looks cool, honestly, and I really love the skills that it comes with. But again, it's pretty much the same thing for every tier. You don't have to worry about sets or mythics. Just go for the legendaries. Just go for them. They're great. Trust me. They'll treat you right. We're going to the world boss, and I will summon. And if you see here, we have two new world bosses. The first two additions, but the first one being Melvin uh, Factory. So we also have Orlag. Don't worry. If you really still want to farm Orlag, which uh, I recommend you do if you're an Orlag farmer, you can still do Tier 10 Orlag. Tier 10 Orlag will be dropping some cosmetics, which is pretty cool. Um, it will also be dropping uh, a few uh, other items like this mythic right here gives you 1.5% evade and 5% block pretty cool Honestly, not a bad uh, mythic, but again, it is not necessary I don't recommend going for it at all if you get it great if not oh well But I still don't think you should level it because it will take longer the Grassberg set uh, It's going to be a very small set. It's a uh, pretty nice because it's team supporty, but it's kind of useless honestly unless you're going for a deflect build which in my opinion is one of the hardest builds to go for and not very reliable um, pretty much everything that drops here still tier 10 let's go ahead and go to another world now go up to tier 10 which is what i'm going to be farming personally because i am now that i have completed omo i am going to be going for drazic let's see if i can find drazic and i did get his schematic and i will show you his schematic here in a few but here for uh, Netherworld, we do have the cosmetics. Kind of like a Doom Guy cosmetic, if you remember Doom, any of you. Uh, it's pretty close to Doom Guy, which is pretty cool. And it comes with a really big gun. Um, here we have a Mythic. We actually have two Mythics here, which is cool. Um, mythic here, gain damage to higher your health percentages, which is pretty awesome. And 2% chance to attack closest in your teammate's turn. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. That's a pretty cool mythic i don't remember this mythic but i don't recommend going for it um i just never knew this mythic existed it must have been added after i passed this tier but yeah everything here poo poo you don't need it you just need legendary like just pretend this is all poo poo you don't need it no poop gear just gold gear think about it legendary that's it it's all you need we'll go ahead and check out melvin factory just to show you the drops again <laughs> You don't really need to go for sets or mythics, but I'm going to show you anyways. Now, if you do want to go for a mythic, this is for DPS players out there. Um, there's only a few that I do recommend uh, trying to get if you are going to be paying a little bit. 
or maybe you're just a very driven uh, free to player that's DPS, you wanna up tier stuff along with you, uh, the Rabid Skeever, uh, this mythic right here, is one of the only early on mythics that I recommend you don't scrap. I really, I really like this mythic personally. Not only does it look cool, it's a little squirrel in your hand, first of all, it's awesome. Who doesn't want that? And second of all, it's pretty much like a pet proc. Uh, when you hit an enemy, you launch a skeever at the weakest enemy for so-and-so damage. It's, it's awesome. It's a great uh, offhand to have, and a lot of sets uh, tend to have a missing offhand, so even if you're free to play, you can just take this along with you, and you can just start chucking squirrels at everything. It's awesome. Uh, but again, it is expensive, and up tiering is not cheap at all. That's for sure. Uh, but this is one of the very few I do recommend you keep. Uh, whether or not you are going to up tier it or use it, because you never know, maybe you might, I don't know, just get a little more into the game and might want to start putting money, uh, being a slight pay to player like myself, where you put a little bit of money here and there, and it, it could you could take it along with you. It's, it's a very, very good item. I recommend you keep it. Do not scrap it. Always keep it, no matter what. Um, we have this other one right here, which is not that great. I know I say that a lot, but it's, it's just, it's poop. Uh, this set right here, the Apocalypse set, used to be very, very good, because if you read it, it pretty much just doubles, adds all this extra stuff, it's great, but it is very hard to get all six pieces, and again, it is a six-piece set, being the most expensive way to up-tier a set is having to up-tier six pieces, it's never worth, you can't pair it with certain things like Star Weave, because it's pretty pointless, uh, but I do recommend you just, again, Go for the gold, get the legendaries. Um, one thing real quick is a very good schematic to actually go for. Um, any of these are good, honestly. The Mervlin schematic's good. Um, the Melborg schematic is the one you would want. But the thing is, he is pretty outshined. And we do have plans already to be using a DPS, which is Drazig. So I wouldn't be focusing on Melborg for now. Ninjin, I think is the worst. Macho Mad Dog Melly Man schematic. Now he is a pretty good tank, but he is very expensive. So if you want to commit some time to Melvins, you can, but again, that is going to be cutting your time with your Drazig and eventually your Drenith farm. So I kind of recommend against any of these really. Um, but if you do want to go for something else, you really can just know that it is a smaller window. I believe this one that goes up to tier 11 or 12. So that's Melvin Factory, and here we have Extermination. Extermination was the last one added uh, to tier 10. Let's go check this out, Heroic. Okay, we have some pretty cool cosmetics, honestly. We have a body cosmetic and a mount cosmetic, so this is a pretty cool one to go for if you want some cosmetics. Um, we do have another mythic here, Time Weaver Garments. This isn't the greatest. Um, it used to be very good, not anymore. If you watch any other um, YouTubers uh, streaming over this part and they're saying it's good, just make sure you're comparing it to what tier they're in. I'm in current tier as of now. It's going to be, I believe, tier 18. I'm in tier 18, I believe. So as of right now, on T18 release, this is a terrible uh, chest to take with you. I do not recommend keeping it. Um, Blorg Implant, again, kind of terrible um we don't really need any of the schematics here at all like yes they're good these are really good all together but the only good one here is glars dose and unless you really want to spend your time okay look a lot of people right now are probably watching this and are like what are you doing air like world leader this is awesome like glars dose is the best bait you can have in the game now listen to me if you want to spend a lot of time on glars dose I'm all for it. He's a great familiar. Extremely good. But there is an easier way to get another bait that's great. And it's great. Maybe not just as good as Glarzos, but he'll get you through all the content you need to get him through. So we you could spend time for Glarzdos. If there is any detour, and I will not stress this enough, if there is any detour at all to take from Nether, there's only two options, I believe, and this is one of them. This is definitely one of them. He is a great familiar to have. He has a self-heal, I believe. And he has a heal teammate. And he has... He just has pretty much everything you need. He has damage reduction. He's great. But the problem with him is getting his schematic. If you cannot get his schematic to drop, I don't recommend you waste too much time on him. 
because come tier 12, you will have another familiar that you can rely on. This guy is pretty expensive, but again, if you're down for the farm, go for it. I recommend it. Larsdos is probably the best bait in the game right next to Crown D, so why not? Go for it if you want. Just know that he will be pricey. He will be very, very pricey. Pricey, pricey meaning that you're going to be pretty much farming him a lot more than likely, or farming this boss a lot trying to get it, and also for the world boss mats, which is going to be these epic neural net ROMs. But again, he is. this is probably the only detour you would take off of world boss is going to extermination. Now we are getting to the end of the video, which is going to be the raid. We are now at one of my favorite raids, uh, Gorbin's Rockin' Ruckus. Honestly, this was when I entered the game. I had entered this game when tier 10 came out. So I haven't really been, I'm not really an OG per se. Like I came in kind of a little more than halfway through the game if you think about it. So let's go ahead and check this out. We are going to check out Gorbin's Rockin' Ruckus. Okay, we're going to be doing heroic as always, but let's go ahead and check out the loot. Here we have a pretty cool cosmetic, but nothing you really want to farm, which is the Melvin Cloak. If you get it, great. Just plus one it and scrap it to get the most resources possible from it. Same thing with Frostbite, you, or Frosty Bite. Uh, you really don't want these, they're pretty trash. Um, Curios are useful as always. Um, you don't have to worry about any of these mythics. Um, the only good one here is probably the Kimusawa, and you're not going to be making that in this playthrough more than likely, unless you choose yourself to detour off. This set right here, the Earth and Might set, is probably one of the best damage reduction sets in the game, if not the best. So it's great if you want to take it with you. Uh, I kind of wouldn't recommend it because there's just so much stuff added to the game that makes this set inferior. It's a nice set to have, but again, go for the gold. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about any of these schematics. Everything here is cool. Just go for the legendaries. I'm gonna go ahead and go on in here. Okay. All right, everything seems good. Let's go ahead and accept. I'm gonna turn off auto and see if I can find the new familiars real quick. I almost got the hell shrine. Okay, these guys are cool little mushroom guys. All right. So here we have, I believe, Gala. Yeah, Gala. He is the strongest enemy. So right away, he's going to be attacking your tank. He's just going to be wailing him right off the bat, which is scary because if he gets him weaker than your DPS, he will be targeting your DPS after that, and that chunk will hit a lot harder on them since they don't have any protections. He has a shield self, so he's just trying to keep alive and just deal some damage. Closest. Oh, that's a really cool animation. And furthest and self so if it's a furthest and self as a one sp that's pretty scary because if it does any damage to himself it amplifies the damage to whatever he's hitting so that's a pretty good move you got to watch out for him but again he is a tank he does have low speed we have closest that's cool uh heals target uh deals damage to the weakest and self and furthest enemy itself. So they attack everyone except target so far by what it seems. I'm gonna auto through these guys real quick, see if we can find any new familiars after this. Let's see. Here's another Gala. All right, here is another one, Flixie. Flixie hates weakest. I never knew Flixie had this moveset. That is insane. So, he has weakest, 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 and weakest. <laughs> so, he just really doesn't like the weakest guy. He destroys baits. You might want to have a pretty good bait, honestly. I recommend making sure you have at least two. That way, if one dies, you're not going to have any problems. So, for this dungeon, the best setup would probably be tank, bait, DPS, DPS, bait. Or if you feel like you're getting wailed in the back more because there is a lot of furthest, you can put bait, bait, DPS, DPS, tank. And another option would be tank, bait, DPS, bait, tank, since there are a lot of furthest. So you could always just run a lot of tanky characters or again, just really high total stat uh, carries. 
I'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this unless any new familiars come out or we reach the boss. Me want smash, me want smash. <laughs> He's like super brainless. Oh, I didn't get to stop it in time. Okay, so I'm gonna have to show you guys Gorbin's moveset um, in the main menu or in the, yeah, when I'm done with the dungeon. So no good drops there, unfortunately. We did get one of the rare materials uh, used for familiars. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much the intro to the tier 10 raid. That's pretty nice. So it seems like tier nine was actually a walk in the park for me. Hopefully it's the same for y'all. I had, again, three maxed out legendaries, the rest epics, and I am going as a evade bait for now. So let's go ahead and see how you guys uh, fare through that, if you guys have any problems, because I do know that it is randomized for bosses, I believe. Uh, just please um, join the Discord, ask me questions. Uh, maybe you can ask questions in chat, uh, world chat, or maybe in the Bit Heroes Discords that you guys have joined. And I'm pretty sure people will help you out, but more than likely, three legendaries seems like it is the sweet spot. Again, keep your carries, try to stay active. Even if you just log on and get off, just, just do it so you can keep your carries. Carries are very important early on in the game. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I know you guys might be shy, but uh, believe it or not, just putting a post saying, hey, I need some help. Is anyone willing to help me out? Someone high leveled so I can clear dungeons easier. They will go ahead and accept you for sure. Don't even worry about it. If, they, if nothing happens, then hey, just ask in five minutes or change the world chat and see if you can find someone. But yeah, that'll be the end for this episode. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. Honestly, I'm just happy to make these videos for you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I just really like helping the community. I'll go ahead and see y'all next time. Again, any questions, ask them in the Discord. Thank you guys for stopping by. Have a great one. Peace.